Hey guys, and welcome back to 31 Bags in 30 Days. Um, we're getting ready to tackle our my linen closet today. Uh, yeah, it is not really a linen closet. It's more like a Monica's closet if you guys watch Friends. Um, hopefully I can at least tackle one shelf today and get it clean and organized, and then we can start doing it back again. Um, I am behind on uploading videos. Um, this past couple of week, days I've just been super busy and I've been behind uploading. I have been still filming and doing them. I'm just behind in uploading. So hopefully I can get back to uploading schedule here real soon. So let's get started showing you the linen closet. So this is my linen closet. So I think the one thing, first thing we're going to tackle is cups. We're going to pull all of the cups out that we have in here. We're going to see what ones. We want to keep, we want to get rid of, um, and all of that. We have a lot of cups in here. We have a lot of things stored in here that we don't exactly need in here. So, um, that's what we're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out all the cups and then I will show you how many that I have left. Because like right now we have camelbacks, we have terabits, we have, um, Snackies, we have a Starbucks, we have a, another Camelback, we have some more Terabus cups, Starbucks, Starbucks, just a what we have some glass water bottles, which I bought these, I got them at Marshall's, and I thought, oh, these are great, I love them. I'm not really reaching for these as much as I would like to reach for these. They don't really keep things very cold. So if you're out running errands, you're not, it's not keeping stuff cold. So people always say, well, glass is better for you and this and that, which I do agree. It's, you know, there's no chemical stuff in it, but I'm not a super fan of glass. So I don't know, like this is a cup I haven't reached for forever, especially designed for mixing drinks into, you know, and being able to shake it up. I haven't been using this in forever, so. That's kind of what I'm doing is just going to go through these cups and pull things out and like this cup right here can be donated. It is, my daughter rarely uses this and it just opens like that and we don't like these because at night they will, they can possibly spill. So this is going to be donated. So go ahead and tackle this, pull this stuff out and I will show you guys how many travel cups we have for a family of four. Okay guys, so this is all of the travel cups that are not sport bottles, except one, I think. Yeah, except this one that I take to the gym. Um, that we have. So you can see there's a lot of them here. Um, so I'm gonna start going through some of these and get rid of them. Um, I know this one is going. My son is not into Paw Patrol anymore. So I have my donation consignment bin actually right here. So I'm going to start putting some of these in. This one can go. Um, I will tell you our favorite cups to use on traveling. We love the Camelbacks because they are spill proof. So if you're going someplace like a hotel and your kids want to have water, these are perfect for that and they have a smaller size if you have younger kids they're just starting out this is a smaller size and then they have this size for kids and then this is one of the like more like adult sizes they have some multiple other sizes but these are definitely staying because we use these all the time when we travel they're great for camping I mean yeah, in the summertime, we don't like to use them in the car because they sweat, but we do use them when we're camping or when we're at a hotel or something like that. Now, we love the Terabus cups. These don't really sweat that much. Um, you know, they're BPA-free. They're actually made in the USA. This is my daughter's, and they have the new straw lids where a straw goes in there it's different than these lids you know that they slide up and down and liquid can kind of spill out them spill out of them what i also love is i can brew my husband's coffee 
directly into this. So you can put hot and cold into here. So that is what I love about these cups. That's why we use these cups more often. So these cups are staying. My husband has an Anheuser-Busch one. He has his Harley one. And I got this one for free when I bought my daughter a birthday pre Christmas present from Terabus and some lids and stuff. I got him a proud veteran one. And then I have a hummingbird and an owl, which I use these cups at home. Um, if I'm doing a project and I want to have ice, I use these cups at home. Um, this is another Terabus cup. It's a sport bottle one. My daughter plays soccer. It did not come with the pink lid. But basically, this pops open and you drink it like a sport bottle. So, this is for her for soccer this year. So, super excited about that. Ooh, that is really gross. I think I need to get him a new... This cup is nasty inside. I mean, it's... I think I need to pitch this and get him a new Starbucks cup. But Terrapus cups also come with handles. And no, I'm not sponsored by them. But these handles are awesome if you have little hands and you have trouble picking up the bigger, like, full-size cups. Like this one, I have a Harry Potter and an Autism Awareness Cup. It's, these are kind of wide. So, um, my son chose whales. And I think you can go on the website and you can, like, customize these too. So, that's awesome. But here are some of my Starbucks cups. Um, I'm probably going to get rid of this one. I love the Starbucks straws because they fit. In, and this is another Starbucks cup. I got all these at Goodwill. So, super cheap, but I know this one's going to go. I haven't used this one in a long time. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it in there. Um, these are my glass. These are the Life Factory ones. They're okay. I don't go for them very much because I don't keep things cold. That's the problem with these. They're not insulated. Like, if they could put an insulated silicone thing on there, I would love them. This one I got for $7 at Staples, and it comes with a straw lid. But I don't go... I haven't gotten these, wanted these, picked these out, and used these in a long time. So, this is my Cool Gear blender bottle. I got it from Big Lots. I love it's got a little hook. And I love that I I like its lid better. It's, I think it closes better. So, but I'm going to start piling some of these in the, the um, bin to consign and get rid of them. And then I'm going to start cleaning up the shelves so we can put them back in there. Okay, guys. So, see all the cups in there and all that other stuff? I donated. I'm donating one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight or nine cups. I'm donating eight or nine cups right now. And then this is what the shelf looks like. I have my big terrorist cups that are going to go over here. And then the shelf is pretty organized with stuff. So that is my one shelf for today. And then there's my bin of donations that's starting. So yeah, we're getting there. Hey guys, so that is... Our, our my bag for 31 bags in 31 days I hope you guys have been enjoying these videos and I'm going to keep at it finding places in my house to purge and clean up and just get things out for this new year so I hope you guys are enjoying your week and I'll see you guys later with the next video bye